Hey everybody, it's Constance with Charming Custom Crafts and I'm super psyched because I just got my new marker system and I want to show you where I put it and where and what you can use in it. And I know that everybody has been uh, looking into new systems, whether they're going to get a one of the systems that you can alter and design or you can make them with your foam boards and I teach a different ways but because I have so much in my room the way I had my marker system was taken up six foot by two foot of my table and uh, it just wasn't working for me so I had to come up with something better and as much as I like to alter things it just wasn't going to work so I got the new crafters companion um, and it is in my desk and I'm going to turn it slightly sideways here. And you can see it's my craft desk. It's a little messy. But this is a side I've had nothing really in it but stacked. I used to keep all my paints stacked up in different things. But um, I have a little light back here so I can see because I will be videotaping, of course, here. I'm still working on, I'm going to be putting three different levels of a wood bar here so that the camera could be mounted. So you guys can see it will eventually be mounted this way to where I can go all the way down so I could teach better I'm working on it but I have it so where I'm sitting down and as I'm working and showing color videos which a lot more are coming now that I have this there is my marker system it is by crafters companion you will find it um, uh, I think it's uh, the crafters companion pen system I think it's what it's called it might be wrong because I'm so excited I think I forgot about it but I think I'm right <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm just more excited about showing it. If I'm wrong, I'll put the information in below. But my my desk, this is an actual computer desk that I bought many years ago, brand new, just for my crafts. It is all solid wood. It's missionary style, and it, it works the way the whole style system is. Now, if you could see, I actually bought the 14 system, the 6 system, and 2 extra shelves. So I have 20 shelves set up. And I actually tried the angle for me. And let me tell you, here's a tip. Do not try to ang uh, tr do not try to angle more than 12 because it will topple over um, so it did not work for me so I had to straight stack them up and with my desk you can see here it, it's smooth and it's tight right there so it's not going to topple over but I have 215 200 or something like that markers uh, Prismacolor markers and these are Prismacolor these are not Spectrum Noirs um, they are not Copics, though I do have my Copics in there. I have my jelly pens, my um, my jelly pens, my ones that I use all the time. I have a file. I have my rollers for flowers. Um, I have my magic markers, my silver and black that I use all the time, and then my EK pen that's for fine pens, and then my Marby stamp markers, my watercolor pen brushes. Um, and then if you get up to the top shelf, these are my liquid appliques. I finally got stocked back up um, on my liquid appliques. So I have, I think, almost every color. And then, of course, I have my X-Acto knife. My other wide uh, Copics marker. Of course, my lip gloss. And it is Coca-Cola. Yummy, yummy. And then my itty bitty scissors that gets into every nick and cranny. And I sell these, by the way, if you guys are looking super cheap too. I don't. I sell them for three, and they go for seven in the stores. Um, then I have my little tool, and then of course I have my my tweezers, and then I have my all my glues up at the top. These are all going to be handy for me. I have my box of love from Coco. Um, and I'm going to be redoing this. I found a brass bird that I'm going to be redoing. That's why it's sitting there. And then, um, I got this in a swap. I'm not sure. I think it's from Julie. I don't know. I got so many swaps this time. And then I had to change up my, um, my, my glue box, my hot glue box. I got this from Disney for, um, with a um, brownie in it at one of the places at Hollywood Studios. Um, but my husband's like, don't you want a pink one? I was like, no. I mean, I love pink, but it's a treasure chest. And I have a pair of scissors in there. I always have my Cricut scissors in here. These are, uh, I got those racks. They're sugar and spice racks that you can get from Ikea. I have all my little bitties in that. So you guys are going to see little tips and tricks. But I had to share my awesome new pen marker system. 
Um, you will also find that uh, it was originally made technically for Spectrum Noir markers, but if you can see clearly that it will fit, and it will fit with strap markers, it'll fit just about, it should fit every marker on the market, except I can tell you right now, my, um, my Prismacolor um, metallic ones, they will fit, but if you see they have a special end on them to go into my old marker system, um, it didn't fit, obviously, this way, but I put it this way, and it's just fine. They are all in order. All my markers are in order. I am still missing some in between some places, but I pretty much have the entire spectrum in there. Um, eventually, I'll get the others, and then I'll have to go up a, a couple, maybe three or four layers, and then I can't fit any more on it. <laughs> but I have everything there, and I wanted to share it with you guys, so... Like I said, it can stack double this way. It can stack at, stack at a slant, and you could do um, tr uh, double stacks where you have four here and four on the other. They will stack sideways. You guys will see that there's a lot of different ways that everybody's using them. But this is how I did mine, and I'm super psyched, and I wanted to share. Hope you like it. Bye.